Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. Well in today's video I want to share five builder all funnel hacks that will make funnel building so much easier and much more fun for you and it will actually make your pages look more put together and professional out on the internet, especially when you share them with others. So if you want to know my personal five builder all insider hacks to build better funnels, then keep on watching. <laughs> Well, thank you again so much for watching my video. This is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would truly, truly appreciate that. So I use Builderall to build funnels. That's the main thing that I use Builderall for. I know other people use them to build websites. I don't really build websites with Builderall. Um, I've already invested time and energy into my main website, which is built on WordPress. Got tons of pages on it, tons of content on it. So it would just be a huge undertaking to go ahead and transfer my website onto Builderall, but I do use Builderall for funnels. That is my thing. I absolutely love creating funnels for myself and my team. And I have discovered a lot of little funnel hacks uh, along the way while using the Builderall Builder that I wanted to share with you to make your life easier. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take you into the insider behind the scenes, you know, of my actual, one of my funnels okay um, so that you can see how I've set it up uh, and then I'm also going to show you how you could just open up the builder all builder under the sales funnel section and uh, create some of these funnels on your own with that being said let's dig into hack number one <music> Okay, so hack number one is changing the page titles. You see right here what says partner with Barbie or five day how to sell without selling challenge. Okay, right here, this is your page title. And when you take a builder all template out of the box, it'll say something like default home or default um, squeeze page funnel or whatever it is that the template that you're using. So what you need to do is you need to change the page title. So where do you change the page title inside of a builder all template? Well, let me go ahead and first of all, let me go ahead and show you where to find funnels inside of builder all. So we'll go right here into the drag and drop pixel perfect and we're going to go to the sales funnel section okay and then the next thing you want to do is you will you would pick out a funnel so, so let's go ahead and select the squeeze page funnel and in the squeeze page funnel you will see that uh, we can just go ahead and edit the template and out of the box you will see that the actual funnel already has a name uh, inside of the title okay so whether you are building a website with Builderall or a funnel with Builderall, you will find the same thing. So here is where the website funnel, etc., is contained. These are the pages, okay? So you see how you've got the main pages and each, when you first go to the main box, this represents a layout, okay? You see how you can't add a page from here, you can only add a layout. Well, I'm gonna get to that, that's gonna be my second hack, okay? But just wanted to bring that to your attention. The first, first menu that you see is the layout. But now you can drill deeper and click on here and now within that layout, you have pages okay so these are the pages inside of this layout and if you want to change the name of this layout which is basically your funnel uh, you want to go ahead and click on the little gear right here and this is where you would change the page title so let me show you with an example from my funnel so right here you see it says partner with Barbie right so this is my uh, one of my funnels. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like on the back end. So again, here's the front end of this funnel. And here is the back end of my funnel. You see right here's my pages, okay? So you see right here, it says partner with Barbie, BA funnel, partner with Barbie, okay? Right here, this is the title of this layout. How do I change this name? You go in here and you click on the gear. Okay, 
So that's how you do that. And right here, while I'm at it, let me go ahead and just change this little icon. So I can go ahead and click on here and change a little icon. And that way, this little paintbrush thingy, it'll change. So what I can do is I can put a picture of myself. Why not try to do that and see how, how uh, what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to click Save over here. I'm going to click Save over here. And I don't know if it'll take, you know, if it'll, if I refresh now, it'll show, but why not? Let's try it. So let me go ahead and refresh this. And instantaneously, there's my picture. Okay. So that is where you would change that. Now, if you want to change the individual pages, okay, so inside this layout are different pages. If you want to change the titles of the different pages, you're going to drill down deeper into each page and you are going to change the name of the page over here and the address of this page is here okay so let me show you what that looks like okay so right here we're at the link of my page okay so if I want to go ahead and go inside this page let me show you really quickly okay so that is my opt-in let's go to another page so I'm gonna go and return and let's say I want to go to the welcome page. Okay, this is my welcome page. My welcome address is right here and my page name is also called welcome. So let me show you what that looks like. So right here, I'm going to put a backslash and I'm going to put welcome. Okay. Okay, so here we are and if I hover my mouse, you'll see it's got the name of my, uh, I don't know if it'll show it in the mouse, but it'll say partner with Barbie and then it'll say welcome in the uh, address bar. There it goes. You see partner with BA and then welcome. So it'll give me the name of the main layout, which is my overall funnel. And then it'll show the page name, which is welcome. <music> Number two, pages versus layouts. So I want to show you the difference between what is a page and what is a layout. So for this example, I am going to show you my risebrandingacademy.com funnel. And by the way, if you haven't taken my five day how to sell without selling challenge, now's a nice time to plug it. If you want to learn how I sponsored 76 new partners in only four and a half months, actually this is num this number has increased. It's actually 82 partners since I did this page, okay? 100% uh, online without chasing convincing friends and family or paying for expensive ads or picking up the phone. Make sure to opt in and it's a free five day challenge and you can go to www.risebrandingacademy.com and yes, I build all my funnels with BuilderAll. So, now let's go to funnel hack number two, which is pages versus layouts. So let me take you to the back end of this funnel. So right here, again, we're gonna to go to the page section and you will see that, what did I say? That as soon as you go to the first menu, you it's gonna show you all your layouts, okay? So there are layouts, these are layouts, okay? And layout means it's like a template okay so you can build let's say a 10 page website and use a different layout for each one um, and the reason you want to do this is because see right here on my uh, home page on my opt-in page I don't have a header I don't have a header with a logo and the way the builder all works is when you have a header and a footer whatever you put on your header and your footer carries across through the entire website well if you're building a funnel you don't want to do that um, you want to probably have like a clean opt-in page so I use a different layout for my home page okay so let me show you the difference so right here you see it says rise a branding Academy funnel if I open this out, if I open the layout, you'll see inside this layout are different pages, okay? And one of those pages is this actual page, which is my Rise Branding Academy home. So if I click here, you'll see that this is the page inside this particular layout, okay? So let's go back. Now, let's go in here. See, I have a different layout for my one-time offer, okay? And the reason why is because I don't want a, uh, I want it to look different. I don't want a header and a footer here. I want this to have a completely different layout. So I'm gonna go back. And now if you come here, okay, this is the actual funnel. And now all these pages look the same. So that's why I have all my pages right in here, okay? 
So that's the difference between a layout and a page, that the layout is the actual look and design of the entire thing, and then when you open up the layout and you drill deeper, then your pages are within that layout. See, so here you can add a page, but you can't add a layout. You understand what I'm saying? But if you go to layouts, you can add a layout, but you can't add a page. So you need a layout before you can add a page. So again, think of your layout as basically the actual blueprint of what that page style is gonna look like, and then from the layout, you can add additional pages. three importing layouts now you may not realize this but this is a really cool time-saving tool okay you can go ahead and let's say I want to add a layout let's say I want to um, add a page that I've built in another funnel that I've done and I want to bring it into this particular funnel that I'm working on all I have to do is click on it add a layout okay and now you have a couple of options you can actually add a layout right from here okay so you can bring in another page right from here I mean literally you could bring in a whole new funnel if you want so let's say for example you're building a website and you have a five page website and within that website you're built you're selling like an ebook you can literally import an entire uh, funnel layout into your website and have a built-in funnel inside of Builderall, okay? So this is my favorite part, which is my layouts, right? And so as you start building uh, funnels inside Builderall, it starts to uh, you know, accumulate all of your past layouts. So you could literally come over here and go to some of your favorite uh, funnels that you've built in the past and you can just go ahead and click over here let's say for example let me go over here and let's say I just want to bring in my thank you page okay so I can go over here and bring in a thank you so let me just rename this to thank you to okay and confirm and this will bring in the layout just for that particular page Okay, so here brought in my page. Now the only thing you have to do is you got to edit this a little bit because since your funnel that you're currently working on has a different style of fonts, okay, uh, not all the fonts will carry over exactly the same, but all you have to do is some quick editing right here, double click this and just, you know, make this a little smaller or whatever so that it will fit inside the current um, uh, layout that you're working on okay and all you do is click on save all right and if this is a layout that you like to use often okay for like a thank you page then you can go ahead and you can change this out to something else change this image and put out um, you know you know put another course or whatever uh, in there um, let's say for example you know I can just put in uh, my, um, I have another course in here. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Like I can put it there. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. So you can just save a lot of time by bringing in layouts that you've already created in the past, edit them a little bit and save it. And then that way you don't have to rebuild every single page of the funnel all over again. If you've already have a funnel with pages that already work for you. Funnel hack number four, your video settings. So let's go ahead and talk about video settings. So first of all, if you want to insert a video inside of any page inside of Builderall, all you have to do is go to the plus sign right here and add a audio or video, okay? And you can add either YouTube, a YouTube playlist, uh, Vimeo. Um, never heard of this, Videlo, but Hey, there's other things that you can add in here, or you can even uh, put in a sound bite here uh, from SoundCloud, it looks like. Okay, so uh, all, I'm, all you have to do is go ahead and click on here, and this will add the little YouTube thing in here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already have one, okay? So here are my favorite audio settings so that when someone arrives at my page, my video will start to play. Now, I will warn you in advance, some browsers are already blocking autoplay, so don't be surprised if your videos do not autoplay in some browsers and your video more than likely will not autoplay on mobile either, okay? And this isn't a builder all thing, it is a browser thing. So what you wanna do is you want to 
take away the display information. That way when YouTube puts the little title in here, like you saw right here, let me actually show you this again. You see right here how, video, how uh, uh, YouTube adds a title, okay? So if you want to get rid of that title, unclick display information. Then you have to unclick, make sure you unclick show suggested videos when the video finishes. That way when your fit video is done, you don't get a bunch of other suggested videos at the very end of the video, okay? And I also leave the display controls so that if somebody wants to pause or play my video, they can. Um, and then I also put allow full screen so if they want to see it bigger on their monitor, they can, but I don't know why they want to see my video bigger, but hey, you have the option to do so if you want to. And I always put autoplay just so that it will play when I go ahead and load the page. funnel hack is getting your links, getting your link address. So I've already done a video about this by itself and I will go ahead and I will link it in the description box. But all you have to do to get your links for each page is you're going to go over here, okay? And let me go ahead and go into the pages themselves and you'll see that I've called them, you know, S SWS Day 1, SWS Day 2, etc, etc. So you're going to grab this, you're going to copy it, okay? And then you're going to actually go to this funnel inside. Okay, I made money. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go, okay. Um, actually, it wasn't a double commission. I opened it up another window so it shows again. So, yeah, now. So, anyway, let's go over here. And I'm going to go to my, to my uh, funnel for my five-day challenge. And I'm going to click on this link right here. Okay, and you'll see the main link right in here. And then if you, if you put a backslash right here and then paste in that page, boom, now you have your link. Okay, so your links are going to be the main page, which is this. Okay, the main page, which is this, plus the address right here, which you'll see here. Anyway, this has been Barbie Figueroa. If this video helped you, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to activate a seven day free trial of BuildRaw and test out the tools yourself, you can go ahead and click on the links right below in my description box. And if you want to partner with my affiliate team where you will also uh, learn how to market yourself online and how to build the BuildRaw business. And you'll also get a bunch of awesome, cool goodies and bonuses just for working with me and my team, you can go ahead and check out those links right below this video as well. So anyway, this has been Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingDesign.com. Please go ahead and if you like this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the notification bell to be alerted of any new uploads. So again, this has been Barbie Figueroa. Make sure to check the description box for any extra links and resources and I will see you on the next video. Bye.